Sorry for text to speech again. Circumstances, circumstances. This is Joe Joke for Joe Joke Central, bringing you day three of QuakeCon 2018. Gary Steinman welcomes us to talk about Fallout 76 and answer many of fans' questions. They start by showing the Fallout 76 trailer from E3. Nothing special here. Chris Meyer, Jeff Gardner, and Todd Howard are here to answer the questions. The first question is what is Fallout 76, and Todd Howard answers. Fallout 76 is an open-world RPG with survival aspects, and every other in-game character is a real person. Chris next says that Ultima Online was his first game, and that he is excited to bring aspects from that to Fallout 76. There are quests, systemic activities, tension between characters, survival, sandbox, and multiplayer elements are all described by Jeff. Todd says it 80% normal Fallout and 20% new. Todd thinks this is the right kind of game for Fallout fans, but he leaves it up to the fans to decide whether it is for them. The people will tell a basic story, so the world will be yours. Fallout 76 will have more exploration elements. He says that it has to feel real for the time you're in. It has to be immersive. Now is the time for an online Fallout was quite jokingly because they didn't want to wait 70 more Fallout games. They were apparently brainstorming ideas for Fallout 76 late in the development of Fallout 4. Fallout 76 will apparently use the Quake 3 network architecture. The development teams for Fallout 76 is apparently spread across the United States. We are then showed the perks videos for Fallout 76 for the first time. Being a better you is show first. There seems to be special cards in Fallout 76, to add new abilities. Mutation will also be new to Fallout 76, so you will get new features and abilities as you go on. We are shown the camera system. We can also change how the character looks anytime, anywhere. We are shown the first steps out of the vault. After you level up, you pick a special, and then a perk for that. You get to keep the card, and that is what you equip for special points. Each card will cost points, and you can also merge duplicate cards for a stronger version of that card. You can also use multiple cards at one. Charisma now works differently in an online game. Charisma makes you or your team more powerful depending on how many cards you share. You get perk card packs every two levels starting off, and later on you get them per five. You can swap out perks anytime. And you can pick out one perk per level. These cost points as well as other cards, so every level you get one more point. Special points stop growing at level 50, but you will continue to get cards forever afterwards. Todd wants Fallout 76 to last years, and says that it may even last 10 years. If you kill someone, you get more caps for a high level than a low level. You can go in for revenge, and earn double rewards if you are successful. If you are an asshole in the game, you are interesting content, and you have a bounty that will come out of your caps, and they can't see other players on the map. If you die, you lose your materials. Nothing else. Respawn points near you in Vault 76 are free respawn points, but others that are far away, you have to pay caps for them. Damage ramps in PvP combat will be normalized. So a knife's damage will go up and a minigun will go down. And if you build a really cool house, you can blueprint it. Nukes will drop from time to time, so areas will become irradiated from time to time. You can play a tuba. VATS is now real time. You start with the whole body, but then unlock individual body parts to aim at as part of a perk. That concludes the Fallout 76 panel from QuakeCon. This has been Joe Joke for Joe Joke Central. Like if you want, dislike if you really want, comment telling me to get Fallout 76 on PC so I can stream it with you guys. And share this video with you friends so this kind of genuine content can make the rounds. Again, this has been Joe Joke for Joe Joke Central. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.